Hey, good morning everyone. How is going? It's getting close to 11 o'clock. Um, I decided to wait for the sky to clear a little bit. All the bad weather's coming from this way. But it is clearing. And it sort of does this. It clears and then more rain comes in and it clears. And I don't know if you can see how wet and damp. Well, the paving's all wet and damp. Um, and we're getting closer and closer to the shortest day of the year. But basically, look, we've had this system, this system in this cupboard, okay? This is, this is my hobby over here. This is where I play. We, uh, for just over a year now, since we bought our first deer inverter, and our first green bank batteries, which are those two there. Because I did have smaller 12 volt ones in the ute, I think. But for running the, uh, the uh, rooftop tent, you know, with the electric blanket and stuff in there for winter camping. Um, so I'm just, both Siggy and I, are just totally blown away with the performance of this system. We're getting, like I said, we're getting closer to the shortest day of the year. And we have yet, apart from the warm up and oil change, run the generator this year at all. Um, it's been absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, right now, and, and we've only just started to get a, a clear sky with a little bit of uh, brightness. And you can see down here, all right, I, I'm hoping you can see that. We're bringing in 3,290 3, watts of solar, give or take a bit, there we go. Okay, and since we've put this in, our total solar is 4,311 or 10 megawatt hours. So it's 4.31 megawatt hours. And today, so far, this system's brought in 2.9 kilowatt hours. That's because right now is the first time the sun's come out today. And it'll do that a few times today. We can see it's just going so well. You can see we're at 83%. All right. And um, that minus sign actually means we're putting power in. I don't know why they've done it that way. So we're currently putting, well, you see that, between 30 and 40 odd amps into the batteries in this unit here. And there's seven and a half kilowatts on this unit and the batteries are at 83%. And currently the house is using almost a thousand watts, 925 watts. Okay, and the hot water system is on, by the way. You can see the time up there. It's just past 11 o'clock. Um, so look, uh, what we have in this cabinet, this is, we have two 12 kilowatt hour batteries. Or as I always, because it's DC, I always talk in amp hours. And of course it's amps times volts equals watts. So these are two 250 amp hour batteries. Okay. And, um, yeah, this is just brilliant. I mean, apart from the fact that it's all in a metal cabinet and I had to put two external antennas for each unit um, outside the cabinet to get a signal. Uh, once I did that, this, this has worked flawlessly and we haven't had to use this changeover we've put in yet. But yes, it does work. You just, if anything goes wrong with this one at all, um, then it'll just switch over to the five kilowatt unit. 
Now the 5 kilowatt unit and this 10 kilowatt hour battery, we bought this one second hand and it got extra damage in shipping because they didn't pay any attention to it. The box was actually flat um, and the top of the lid was the shape of the battery. But anyway, it was a second hand battery and it's been working absolutely fantastic. So we put this 10 kilowatt hour battery in or 200 amp hour battery. Okay, and we have wired it through that uh, circuit breaker down there and the, and the power in, the Lynx power in, through to the other bank. It comes in, it goes under the floor and comes up in those two huge cables down there. And there's a, um, I did a video on how to put fuses into the Lynx power in and we've got fuses in there so it's protected both ways and so it does share this battery and the system's just going awesome this this little unit here this little uh, three kilowatt unit here a uh, five kilowatt unit I should say here has got three kilowatts of solar on it and it's bringing in 589 watts right now and it's almost done a kilowatt today but it is just the backup unit so we put minimal solar on it and the battery in this unit is at 86 percent okay it says it right there and it's self-consuming 15 watts okay it's of a night time it sits anywhere from 12 to 14 watts um, of a night time and in the daytime it usually consumes a bit more I don't know why it does that it might be a little bit of solar coming in I've got no idea all right I'm not an expert on this people I'm just showing you what's working for me a lot of people think I'm an expert far from it um, I have been off grid now for probably about 12 years or a bit more I don't know I've lost track and both my wife and I have never looked back since we got them to take the wires off our house we have never looked back um, and the only time I lose power is if I need to do work on the cabinet here and I turn it off but even then, <laughs> even then, I've got this little tiny plug here and another little plug here. And another inverter sitting in here that I can turn on and switch my house over to this inverter. So it's been pretty good. It's been pretty amazing. Um, it's been a fantastic hobby because for me, solar energy started as a hobby. And now it basically powers our life. 100%. Uh, I mean, we don't have to burn fossil fuels or anything. <coughs> Excuse me. A bit of a winner, winner, winner cough there, but look, I 100%. If you're thinking about going off grid, all right, the first thing I would say is Green Bank batteries, look, they've been amazing so far. They've not given any issues. Um, they work. I've got some that are considerably older, like these little 12 volt ones. And that I used in the ute and the camper. And they just, look, they're just an amazing battery. They, they work. That's, that's all I can say, they work. You know, it's up to you. If you think, oh, they're too cheap, they don't work. Well, they do work. Why are the others so expensive? Um, because they've got a higher profit margin on them, of course. That's why they're expensive, you know? Um, 
and that's that's the way the world is now you know people want to make more money so they go and buy cheap stuff from China and or, or build it for their brand in China and then they might put you know a thousand percent profit on top of that by the time it's shipped here which is ridiculous but that's what they do Green Bank does not do that okay George at Green Bank would like to see everyone off grid in Australia with his batteries and they are good batteries. The D inverters, look, if you want to look for really good inverters that do everything in one unit, you know, including uploading to the, to the web so you can look at it anywhere in the world, take complete control of your system anywhere in, your, in the world, there's no other inverter, okay, I would use to do that with because these are just an incredibly strong industrial built inverter. They've got massive heat sinks on them. Absolutely massive, four inches in the old terms. And on this unit, you hardly hear the fans come on, but when they do come on, they are a little bit noisy, but not as noisy as some. In the five kilowatt unit, it's silent. In this unit, this is silent. It doesn't have any fans that come on. Okay, so if you don't have it mounted inside a cupboard, you will never hear it. Okay, unless it beeps. But because I have this all mounted into a cupboard, then I've got up on top of the cupboard, I've got an exhaust fan over there for that unit. I've got an exhaust fan over there that, for that unit. And I've got a fan in the middle that comes on just in case there's a fault in any of those other two units. All right, and they're all controlled by these cheap plug-in um, thermal controllers I bought on Amazon. Okay, so there you go, there's me uh, one year update. Oh, look, the sun's really shining now. Oh. Brilliant. Brilliant. Alright, keep safe everyone. Look, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, by all means, give it a thumbs down. But what I'd really like you to do is to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, please subscribe. Okay, and, and watch all my video if you've got the time. Um, that's what counts now with uh, Google YouTube, is the, the, the view time. Okay. Keep safe everyone, bye for now.